here we keep the temperature and amount of the gas constant when you compress the gas the volume decreases which in turn rises the pressure when you increase the volume the pressure goes down therefore pressure is inversely proportional to volume this is nothing but the boyle's law we take a glass tube of uniform cross section which has internal diameter of around 2 mm in which a mercury pellet is introduced one end of the glass tube is sealed and the other end is left open such that some gas is enclosed in the glass tube under the mercury pellet this tube is fixed to a scale and then clamped to a retard stand this arrangement is known as the quill tube apparatus verification of boyle's law using quill tube method apparatus quill tube apparatus retard stand and meter scale here we can see that the lower end of the mercury pellet is at a height of 22.5 cm and the upper end of the mercury level is at a height of 39.2 cm note the lower end of the mercury level as h1 and the upper end of the mercury pellet as h2 difference of this h1 and h2 gives us the vertical height of the mercury pellet note this reading as small h after that we need to measure the length of the air column in the quill tube here we can see that the length of the air column in the quill tube is 5.5 cm note this length as l after that multiply the pressure and length of the air column and note this value in the observation table then we fix the quill tube in tilted position
here h1 is 51.5 cm h2 is 51.5 cm and length of air column is 6.9 cm Here H1 is 53.5 cm H2 is 43 cm and length of air column is 8 cm Here H1 is 44 cm H2 is 60.5 cm and length of air column is 8.8 cm note these values in the observation table for vertical position of the quill tube the length of the air column is 5.5 cm vertical height of lower end of mercury pellet h1 is 22.5 cm and upper end of the mercury pellet h2 is 39.2 cm difference in height h1 and h2 h is 16.7 cm pressure of the enclosed air p is equal to 76 plus 16.7 which is 92.7 and the value of p into l is equal to 92.7 into 5.5 which is 509.85 cm similarly the values for different positions of the quill tube are from our observation table the product of pressure and length column is almost constant in each position of the quill tube this verifies the boyle's law Now we plot h versus 1 by l graph by considering h on x axis and 1 by l on y axis the scale on x axis is 1 cm is equal to 10 cm and scale on y axis is 1 cm is equal to 0.05 per cm here the negative intercept of the x axis gives the atmospheric pressure which is 76 cm of the mercury Now we draw one more graph that is p versus l graph by considering p on x axis and l on y axis the scale on x axis is 1 cm is equal to 10 cm of mercury and on y axis 1 cm is equal to 1 cm the graph comes out to be a rectangular hyperbola this proves that p is inversely proportional to l Hence, Boyle's law is verified. Precautions: the temperature should be kept constant throughout the experiment. 
readings should be noted without any parallax error the quill tube should have uniform cross section for every change in the position of the quill tube wait for some time and note down the readings the closed glass tube should not be touched with the hand